Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I kind of wanted to go ahead and do like a first impressions and show you guys a little bit about this game called They Are Billions. Uh, I believe it is in the early access that you can find on Steam for $25. And I pretty much just wanted to show you guys this game because it's gotten a lot of attention. And more or less, it is very, very, very fun. I'm also very bad at it. I've only played for like a couple of hours. Not even, maybe like two hours. Um, to just kind of show you guys a little bit of what it's like. So it's kind of like a tower defense meets RTS forward slash... I don't want to say exploration, but I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on in. So these are the standard settings, which I believe are actually quite a bit difficult. Um, you can see that there are different map types to play on. Um, there are different date, like there's basically the, the game duration. Um, the shorter you have it, the harder it is because it condenses the same amount of monsters in a short amount of time. Um, and then there is the infected population, which I'm just going to leave as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and start the game off and explain a little bit about it and show you guys how easy it is to jump on into the game. Okay, so the first off thing that I really like about the game is that just like a lot of... Here we go. Just like a lot of uh, other games that you have the ability to pause. Now, let me actually just lower the audio just a tiny bit. When you pause the game, everything is stopped. You can see the minimap down here. Nothing is actually going. But the reason why this mode is good is because um, for people who are maybe not as good at the game or for people who want to learn the game like myself, you can pretty much set everything up. So if I want to go through and build a tent uh, while I'm paused, I can have the location, click the location. Uh, it'll never actually create. And if I don't like that spot, I can undo the building with full refund. Once you actually resume, you're not going to get the full refund anymore. It's going to deduct, uh, you know, a little bit from you. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. So I'm going to just go ahead and start with a tent over, I don't know, maybe like here and another tent he here and another one here. So I'm going to go ahead and explore a little bit. It's pretty cool because your minions have their own like AI basically, or not AI, sorry, they have their own move set. Um, they also rank up so they can like become stronger. And here are the mobs. As you can see by the game name, uh, there are quite a few monsters in the game. So I'm actually going to leave this guy and let him kind of get some XP over there. And we're going to see what's going on on this side. You can also hotkey targets. So if you look down here, I'm going to go ahead and hotkey all of them. And I can toggle this guy too. So we can pretty much just flicker between them. Uh, and that's just by using like control and then set key. Uh, do not want that. What's going on over on this side? Let me actually pause here. So now, the next part of the game is managing your resources. So you have gold, uh, you have wood, stone, iron, oil, and then you have your colonists, which is your total population, uh, your workers, your food production, and your energy production. And pretty much the main way the game works is you're going to be building these things in your energy tab called Tesla Towers. So if you look here, you can see essentially how far I'm able to build, uh, highlighted by... This, you see these little squares here kind of that are like highlighted a different color. That's the only area you're able to build. So a huge part of the game is expanding via Tesla towers. So you create a Tesla tower and if I were to put a Tesla tower here, you can see all of the area over here I'm able to expand to. Um, let's go ahead and actually just resume and I'm actually going to build a Tesla tower like right here, which is kind of risky to build there. And there's actually resources over here. This is wood, I think. Oh, gold. Gold and wood. Awesome. So this guy is still chilling. I'm going to just put him on patrol, like here. So he'll slowly just start killing all the stuff. And you can see his XP, he's actually 13% uh, into a level. Alright. That guy's chilling. And we have a nice open area actually over here. Nope, he's good. He's chilling. All right, so we have way too much gold here. Let's go ahead and start spending. So we actually put our Tesla tower down, which means that we can now create like a mill. Um, 
No, no, not a mill, sorry. We want to get lumber. Okay, so let's get a sawmill over here. Now, this is the next part of the game, which is basically how the resources work. Uh, if you look at the number indicated there, so you'll see like it says wood 10, uh, wood 8, wood uh, 3, 1, 0, etc. That's how much uh, resource you're going to gain over time from that specific uh, unit. Now, you have to be careful because you cannot put like two sawmills next to each other. Um, it does have to be, it would have to be like on the opposite side, basically. You can see the, uh, the indicator. So let's put this guy 11. And then we, yeah, it says here, if you look at the bottom there, there's already a building getting the resources of that same area. So I couldn't, for example, I'd have to come down here, which actually I could do like that. All right, I'm also going to need food production. And the best way or some of the better ways to get food production, we can make a cottage right here, which would get 15, 14. That says zero. I don't know why that's zero. 15. 16. Let's do one right there. Cool. And let's resume. Uh, there's actually some resources like right over here. I want to go for this right here. Oh, this is um, about that. Two, three. All right, buddy. I need you to go this way. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty mad guy right there. That's like a lot more tanky than the other ones. And... Gimme, gimme! Okay, so th there's still just like pew pewing over there. All right. So we should probably get ready for like some base defense in case like something's gonna happen. So I'm gonna make a Tesla tower right about here. I'm also gonna make a Tesla tower maybe like around here so I can expand to here. And then I'll make one more Tesla tower. Actually, I can't yet. Let's resume. All right, I'm gonna try to not pause anymore so we can kind of speed this up now that I think about it. We'll, uh, we'll let the mistakes happen, boys. Okay, they're all doing good. Okay, we have a bunch of lumber. Okay, we want to put a wall around here just to block. All right, good. Let us go ahead and get this wall open now. And I can always like get rid of this wall later, so you don't have to be like too picky about it. Okay, good. And we just want to make sure we can't like get Zerg from this side. That's why that's kind of important. And then I'll probably do the same thing on this side here, except this is like a much larger area to cover. Um, we're also going to go ahead, let me make an archer tower right over here. And then we'll probably try to cover this bottom side. So let's make, I guess we'll just have to do the wood wall. All right. And I should really should make a gate somewhere in here, but it's okay. All right. Uh, looks like because we're using so much lumber, we should make another lumber mill. We also have zero workers, which means we need way more tents. So first thing is I need more tents. Are you fine, buddy? He is not fine. All right. Uh, let's make some, uh, I said I was going to make some tents. All right. Let's make some tent. All right. There's four. He gets 2% from those guys. Did I lose an archer? No, archers are still chilling. Okay, good. 
All right, we're going to take one archer and put it inside here. So you have to actually man these towers. The regular wood tower doesn't do anything by itself. All right, so this is kind of something cool that occurs throughout the game. Um, it's nice because you can base it. It's kind of like a little added bonus. I think it's different every time as well. So this gives me a query, which essentially just gives me a free thing to build. Uh, and this would give sawmill wood production plus two. Um, I'm just going to take the wood production because I don't really need stone or iron right now, which is what the query would be for. But what I do need is I need another... He's good over there. I need another sawmill right here, actually. Ten. Good. This guy's about to level, right? Yep. All right, check this out. Watch this. His, I'm pretty sure his attack damage goes up, and I think even his attack speed. Look at him go, dude. All right, here's the archer tower. I cannot hit that guy yet, so that's fine. All right, we have way too much wood now. Let's go ahead and start creating some walls. Well, actually, I need to expand this more. Let's put this right about there. He's good down there. They're lying. Uh, looks like I'm going to need workers and food again, so let's go ahead and start making some more. Um, come on, it's about to be done. Almost done. Almost done! Nice. Actually, um, I'm going to like get rid of these because I want to make a gate right about here. You can change the rotation of the gate with tab, although unfortunately it's like kind of weird the way you have to angle it. Oops, I do not want that one. That was a no-no. Put this one here. I think that's good. All right, or wait. There we go. This guy's still just straight chilling on this side. Um, I spent like all my lumber and it won't go away. So let's see, what else do we need? I think we need, we're gonna need some food here in a second. So food would be under resources, uh, fisherman lodge. We have no water, actually we do. We have water right over here. 14, let's put him right there. All right, we're going to do Hunter Cottage so that they can generate some resources as well. So give me food over maybe here. Can I put it over here too? No. Okay, well, they can also get food off the grass, which is nice. And maybe like 12 here. And is he good? He's chilling. The colony. No, no, you're good. You're good, buddy. All right, we need to make a... Actually, let's go back here. I need a wood tower right about here, and I need another wood tower right about here. Okay, so one of the next goals is we need more workers. So let's make... Some... Or no, I need... Workers would be tent. Let's make some tents over here. I think he's okay. He's okay. He's chilling. All right. Let's build a gate right there. I'm going to mount him inside here. No cap of pride. And then these two archers can just chill inside here. And this one as well. Okay. So you can see here the tower is actually, it's got like crazy high attack range when it's like that. Okay, so we need energy and stone. Oh, remember the time when I said I didn't need stone? Okay, mistakes were made. Let's go ahead and make energy first. So let's make a mill. I'll put one like over, is that blocking? Shit, I think I just blocked. <clears throat> 
Uh, we'll make some more tents. And we need to make a query, which is workers and energy. We'll get workers from here and we'll get energy via, where is it? These mills will give us energy. And then I don't know what this resource is, but we're gonna find out. These are about to be done. Oh wait, these are zombies? Oh, what? Wait, when did they even get in? How? How did... Did they come from the forest? I'm pretty sure if I lose like that much more, I lose the game. Hey. Hey. Buddy. What the fuck even ha- I legit didn't even notice that. Repairs the building. It costs a thousand gold to repair that. I'm pretty sure my building has like one HP. Um, I know I said I wouldn't pause, guys. I'm sorry. I tried without pausing. Confirmed I'm not good enough. Let me take this guy out. And let me like... Can you get in there? I think it's over here. Wow! This is an actual spot? That's so fucked. I didn't notice that at all. All right, let's see what we're gonna make a query, right? Okay, let's let's get back on track here. We need workers. Okay, so to make workers Go back we need tent As you can see, pausing is really good because you'll get way too many resources, kind of like how I have if you don't know exactly like what to do at what point. So I actually need to put a Tesla tower over here so I can build here. I'll leave him there for now. I am, however, going to need a wood workshop is okay to make. But no, it takes 10 workers. I was supposed to make something else. I need this. No. Actually, I do need this. Soldier Center is really good because you can make archers and then you can put them in your towers. There's kind of like a lot that I need, to be honest, and I don't have like any of it. Okay, query. This is stone. So there's actually stone right here, which is really good. Here is four stone right there. So now we just have to wait for that production. And while we're waiting, we'll make a... What can we make here? Wood workshop takes more workers. All right, more workers it is. Definitely like managing your space is like a really, really, really important thing in this game uh, that I am really bad at in this game at least. Nothing, nothing on the terrain actually like gets destroyed. Like the trees and stuff don't actually get destroyed. Um, so it's cut. You have to pretty much keep expanding. If you don't expand, you pretty much get like GG'd. Okay. Whoa. Speaking of which, again, I actually fuck. I wasn't paying attention. No, I wasn't. No, 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 no. Oh god. I didn't even get to the fun part yet. Oh Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, all right, team. Well, that's actually going to be GG because there was, I guess, a little spot over here that I didn't pay attention to. So the way this game also works is that, uh, if the zombies take over a building, they kind of like multiply. They don't, they don't necessarily multiply, but they kind of add on to each other over and over and over. Wow. That's like really bad. I, I never really died that early, but <laughs> so there's other parts of the game that are a lot more fun. I think like day 10, it actually starts where randomly on your map, it'll pick a spot and it'll, you'll get like essentially, I don't know, like 30 seconds, 60 seconds to get ready because a, a horde of monsters are going to come from that, that section specifically. And that's kind of when it gets really stressful because you have to like pause like, oh my God, what the fuck's about to happen? Uh, so I'm kind of sad I didn't get to that part. But anyway, that's pretty much the game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know how much like replayability it has, but definitely at least I'm sure you could sink in over 20 hours and you'll, you'll be more than happy with the game. 
So that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Um, and uh, you can catch this game on Steam for $25 for They Are Billions. Have a wonderful time, everybody. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow.